Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm back with another Dying Light 2 video. So just like I promised I'll post a video today, well, I'm doing that and it's like 8 a.m. in the morning, so I know I'm late. Anyways, we need to talk about a lot of things, so let's start with this image here. Did you notice anything here? This very really something unusual here. Well, this image appears to show Dying Light 2 inventory and gameplay. You can see few quests here, rewards and some missions. Now don't worry, I have a better resolution image for you guys, so don't worry about that. Now check this out. This image you see comes from a promotional video regarding new Asus ROG ScreenPad Plus. There's a new laptop out there and this thing came out as a promotional video. So, a laptop with a second screen and it has more features than you can imagine. But we're not here for the laptop promotion. In this promotional video, you can see a Dying Light 2 UI in the second screen. Obviously, this is not the final UI because it can always change during the release, but it still gives you an idea about what the UI will look like in Dying Light 2. Plus, it gives us a lot more info, so let's discuss them. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, then a like would be amazing. And consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Now, let's first look at the left side of the image. At the left, you can see three sections. First, a quest, second, activities, and third, facilities. Quest section shows all the missions. Activities shows zombie activities in the area, mission related to zombies, basically. Third, facilities, that will show you the progress of each faction you make in the game. Now, let's look at some of the quests here. The first quest is the Water Tower quest. I feel like this quest is the one we saw in the early E3 2018 gameplay. You go on the top of the tower and find a few people from different factions. You have choices to make, either side with them or simply kill them. And uh, later, your choices have consequences. So basically, this quest is from E3 2018 gameplay, by the way. Second quest is called Getting Stronger. Now, this is an interesting one because in the middle where it shows the quest details, it says Aiden and Hakon have reached the bazaar which is in the black market and unfortunately the guard won't let him in because Aiden doesn't have his biomarker and luckily Hakon had a backup plan so that is what the description says for this quest. It's very interesting stuff because as Devs mentioned when Aiden arrives in the city he doesn't have his biomarker so if you're wondering what the biomarker is well what you need to know is that the purpose of the biomarker is to tell you the level of infection one person has. So, if you get bit or you get in contact with an infected zombie, your chances of getting infected increases and the biomarker pretty much just warns everyone and you with the red and green light you see here. By the way, in this image you can see it says you will be able to choose one of the rewards. And since it's not the final UI, you can see two similar weapons, but don't worry, later on it will be two different weapons here. Anyways, did you notice there is a recommended level there? I see, Techland is actually implementing this feature for a reason. Techland wants people to explore the world more and do more side quests and stuff to level up the character to do certain missions. This is something I've seen with Assassin's Creed games, Ubisoft does that a lot. But hey, it's not a bad feature, it's just I don't think so it's going to work with Dying Light. I'm just not sure if this level system will affect trading weapons in game. Like for example, if you're level 8 and a friend of you drops level 9 weapon, will the game stop you from using that high level weapon just because you don't meet the requirements. I mean, honestly, I hope it doesn't work like that because I love trading weapons and I don't want to trade weapons that I can't use because of my level, so that would suck. By the way, on top, you can see the HUD showing your level meter and at the extreme right, you can see your you are level nine. So this is what the UI looks like. Also at the right, you have a section that shows you past objectives. Well, get ready because things are going to get interesting here. Let's check the past objective sections start from the bottom because that's how we'll know what happens in the story. The mission says clear your way to GRE A drop. So yes, you will have GRE A drops in Dying Light 2. And look in the description, it says that in Routine 2 more inhibitors, Aiden ran into some infected. To complete his task, he had to eliminate them. Later in the quest, the next quest is called by the way, search for inhibitor near the GRE quarantine. The description says after defeating the infected, Aiden could at last get to the inhibitors. Next quest says run to bazaar avoiding infected. Very weird name, but hey, infected is okay, fine. The description says Aiden found 
the inhabitors but attracted a group of infected along the way and he had to get rid of them. So what happens here is Aiden was going to Bazaar and while traveling he attracted a lot of zombies, like a group of zombies, which started following him and then obviously Aiden had to kill them. So that's what the story says. It's just so crazy how we have so little info about a quest and it already sounds so amazing. Now in the top of the image you can see three sections again, first quest, second chat and third quick slots. Quick slots would be inventory option for you to put your favorite weapons there so you could just quickly swap between them. And the chat would be something like a group call or party like PlayStation has, you know the party thing, every PlayStation user would know that. Now I'm showing you another image and look at this. This is actually the latest UI. In the quest section, you can see more options. Quest name is as follows. Let's Vault and Water Problem. The area are named like Zone 3 or Zone 2, so probably the zone comes under a faction. As you can see, a lot has changed here. The level has changed from being numerical 8 to being Roman number 5. Also an additional quest, Finding Water Tower is there. Now in the middle, there is something interesting again. Under the Rewards section, you can see a new weapon and it's not just an ordinary weapon but a purple tier weapon which means we are getting different tiers of weapon once again in dying light 2. so guys that's everything and i want to give a huge shout out to my friend here who brought this to my attention i had no idea about this and he gave me a post that actually had this image there and i was able to find a huge like high resolution image just because he informed me about it so you shout out to him thanks a lot dude because of you i'm able to make this video here so guys hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and let me know in the comment section what you guys think about it it's so crazy i'm going to put this in my community section so you can go and check out the image from there if you want a high resolution image it's going to be there so go and have a look thank you for watching good night and good luck